How about the Cowboys against Washington? I felt very strongly going into this game that Washington would win this game. I said that, hey, the Cowboys are more talented, but Washington is better coached. And I was 100% right. Washington beat Dallas 25-3. to It was embarrassing. It wasn't close. It wasn't competitive. And the Dallas Cowboys mess just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. The more I talk about them, the more I dive into what they're doing. It's just not good at all. Andy Dalton didn't look good. He didn't throw the ball very well downfield. He didn't throw the ball very much downfield at all. Actually, he just was dinking and dunking, and that was even bad. You know, there was an interception where Andy Dalton threw the ball to Ezekiel Elliott. It literally popped off Ezekiel Elliott's hands up in the air, got picked off. Then Andy Dalton got hurt. He got nailed helmet to helmet by John Bostick. And it was really shocking that nobody got in John Bostick's face. Usually when a quarterback gets nailed like that, the offensive line goes, Hey! That's my guy. What are you doing? They protect their quarterback. And I got to say, I I know that I've seen a lot of, I've had articles sent to me and I've had people tell me stuff and send me messages. Can you believe the Cowboys wouldn't defend their quarterback? And there's a lot of layers here. First of all, I think Dak Prescott's their quarterback. So that's, they're already not as emotionally connected. Number two, I actually was watching the game and my immediate thought wasn't, why aren't they fighting for Dak, for, for Andy Dalton? My immediate thought was, Andy Dalton's hurt, and I actually think you people are really being very critical of the Cowboys for their lacking leadership, and they're not fighting hard, and I guess you could watch Andy Dalton get leveled and see nobody defending him, see that as the Cowboys being weak. I actually saw that and went, I think they're concerned. Andy Dalton looks hurt, I, and I, I almost wonder if, like, let John Bostic be himself, because the offensive lineman didn't just run into John Bostic's face. The offensive lineman... They ran to check on Andy Dalton. So I, I don't know that it's entirely, I think it's a little bit overblown how the Cowboys aren't standing up for the quarterback or they're not fighting or don't care. But it did seem like, I mean, I guess forget that moment, 25 to 3, you can interpret that as the Cowboys have no fight pretty easily anyway. So I don't know. I, I, I do understand the concern that you got to stand up for your teammate. Now, Ben DiNucci finished the game for the Cowboys. He's now. Probably going to be the starting quarterback for the Cowboys on Sunday Night Football April the Eagles this week. And uh, Andy Dalton is in concussion protocol. Ben DiNucci is a guy who played He played at Pitt, University of Pittsburgh. He actually played with Max Brown. And then he transferred to James Madison for the final two years of his career. Had a really good time. One did a lot, did a lo- really good stuff actually, James Madison. Was not terrible in college. He can run a little bit. He's got a solid arm. Um, I'm interested. I'm not, I'm very doubted. I'm very doubtful that Ben DiNucci is going to do very good, but I, it, how cool would that be if Ben DiNucci came out and was like suddenly the answer to the Cowboys prayers, like he was phenomenal. I don't see that happening. That'd be crazy if it did, but what if it did? I can't, what if it did? What if Ben DiNucci on Sunday Night Football racks up like 400 yards passing Four touchdowns, even th- I'll take three touchdowns, and like looks remotely good. Oh, what a wild year we'd be in for there if Ben DiNucci turned out to be a good quarterback for the Cowboys. Now, I love, I love, love, love what the Washington football team is doing. Besides their name, besides their terrible ownership, besides a horrible stadium, Ron Rivera is doing really good stuff in Washington. I am all in. On Ron Rivera, I love the guy fighting cancer. Like he, he just beat cancer, by the way, at his final treatment the other day. Winning football games as a head coach. I believe in Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera appears to believe heavily in Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen is his quarterback. Kyle Allen had two touchdowns on Sunday. Played a good, clean game. Had good throws. Completed all the easy ones downfield. He also completed some big throws downfield. Had zero turnovers. Kyle Allen... That's the best game I've seen Kyle Allen play all year. I get it's against the Cowboys. They're terrible. But I I was excited about Kyle Allen. I really buy into Ron Rivera. And then weird thought is I I really like the Washington football team tight end, Logan Thomas, a former quarterback, I believe at uh, University of Virginia, UVA. He is awesome. Maybe it's Virginia. I think it's Virginia Tech, actually. I forget. I apologize. Logan Thomas, a former quarterback, playing very well at tight end. Had another a big catch where he snagged the ball away from a Cowboys defender on Sunday. And uh, good for Washington, man. A lot of people hate seeing the Cowboys uh, do anything well. So a lot of people were happy the Cowboys got killed. 
I didn't care about that. I'm not a Cowboys hater. I, I, they're, they're just another football team. Um, and I honestly, I, I look at what the Cowboys are doing. I don't have an answer to solve their problems. Like I, I think they might have hired the wrong coach. I, Dak Prescott. You hope he comes back. I, I almost feel, I, I just feel concerned for Dallas. I don't hate them. I feel almost bad for them. It's not going well for the Dallas Cowboys. And um, I very much buy into what the Washington football team is doing. Washington looks uh, looks awesome. I love Ron Rivera. Kyle Allen, I'm, I'm more lukewarm on, but I like what he's doing so far. He's definitely the best quarterback they have. And uh, good for Washington, man. The good win on Sunday. They beat the Cowboys 25-3. to And, uh, I look, I like seeing Washington play well. I thought they would. And Washington is a very well-coached football team. 